everybody. Beer Chris checking in from Jester King again. Uh, as you may be aware, this is an amazing spot. Uh, as you can see behind me, pretty good grounds, very popular on a Saturday. Um, I was sitting over kind of closer to the bar last time. Uh, we're out here amongst the people this time around, enjoying this beautiful day in Austin, Texas. I mean, we're barely still within Austin, but it is the Austin area. Uh, Jester King's way out here, and it's definitely worth the drive. And this is why. They are world-renowned for their sour beers, of which we have a couple here for you today. So they do pretty much all farmhouse-style ales. So you got a couple represented right here. And what they've done for you is age them in wine barrels. So this one right here, you have aged in a Sangiovese barrel. You see, it's nice and clear. It doesn't have the, uh, the cloudiness of some of the other beers. Um, and it's really, really nice. Um, it has like a mild sour kind of note to it. It's not one of those that's going to bowl you over like a lot of the sour stuff that they have here. Uh, this one, really, really good. Uh, that's been the, the group favorite here today. Um, the other one I got for you is the same beer aged in the Syrah barrels. And what's interesting is uh, you got a little cloudiness going on here. So this one's got a little bit of extra like funk factor. Uh, still mild on the sour. Uh, you can definitely taste the, the difference in the, the wine barrel there. And it's got a little bit more funkiness. So uh, if you're into that sort of thing, and most of the people that come here are, uh, I would say straw is the way to go if you're more of like a straightforward kind of beer person. San Giovese all the way. But uh, the reason I am here today, this bad boy right here. This is uh, the brewery. If you've been watching my videos, you know these. I love these guys. It's Prairie and the Brewery all day long. That's what I drink. Um, this is a special edition of their uh, mash beer that they do, and they decided to throw a whole bunch of coconut in there on this one. Um, what's interesting about this one is that brewery normally, you know, I'm drinking stuff that's jet black. You know, it looks like motor oil. Uh, so they call this one an imperial brown, and you can see it definitely has a uh, brown color to it. Still in the 13% category though, so I got a couple of people helping me out today because, uh, yeah, no way I was gonna plow through a 750 at uh, 13%, but uh, it is very tasty. Let me give you the uh, notes real quick. The, the smell alone is amazing. The nose on this, like, I could just smell this all day long and, like, not even take a sip. You know how I feel about coconut. You can actually detect the coconut on this one. Uh, it's not crazy off the charts coconut, which is what I'm normally looking for, but I'm happy with just like, can I taste a coconut period at this point? And you can. So uh, the menu said it was a barley wine, but on the bottle it says Imperial Brown. I definitely agree with that uh, description of it. And uh, I mean, brewery everything is amazing, including this one. So uh, I got this one for myself and uh, a couple people here uh, enjoying it with me today. Everybody's loving it. It's a tasty one. So if you see this one, which I have not until today, that's why I come here to Jester King to get some crazy stuff like this. So as always, cheers and enjoy.